Hello everyone, I'm Alex Dykes, and on this week's Child Seat Review, we're taking a look at the 2014 Lexus GX460. This is Lexus's mid-sized SUV. It slots between the RX350 crossover and the much larger LX570 SUV. Even though the GX is stuck between the LX and the RX, it really is more of an LX-type vehicle because it is still a traditional body-on-frame SUV, which means we have this body right up here, which people actually ride in the vehicle in, and then there's a frame below that that actually connects to the wheels and the suspension and the drive line, etc. That means if we open a door right here, the seating position is fairly high in the vehicle. Now at six feet tall, I actually find the added ride height of the GX to be a good thing because it's much easier to get things in and out of the vehicle and it would be much easier to get children in and out of child seats while they're also in the GX. But from here, you can actually see how tall the floorboards are in the Lexus GX. We only have about 8.2 inches of ground clearance, but these floorboards are fairly high off the ground. The GX has a decent amount of second row leg room, which really translates into a decent amount of room for these rearward facing child seats that we have installed right now. You can see over here on the driver's side that the front seat is adjusted for me at six feet tall. I do have about six inches of room left between that seat and the child seat, which is very ideal. Over on the other side of the vehicle, I have this front seat adjusted for a six foot five passenger. It's all the way back in its track. And you can see I still have about two inches of room between this front seat and the child seat. It is important to keep this amount of room because the front seats in the GX do have active headrests. So the active headrests will move forward and backwards a little bit in an accident. And the whole seat back can move backwards in an accident as well. So you wanna make sure there's a reasonable amount of room between the child seat and a front seat for optimum protection. In a very nice touch, Lexus hides their latch anchor behind this piece of leather right here. So you simply unvelcro it and then the latch anchors are hidden deep inside the seat bottom cushion. They're very easy to engage and disengage once you have this uh, Velcro leather portion removed, but it does hide the latch anchors in a fairly nice way. It also makes sure that this area is nice and softly padded so that way your passengers that aren't using latch anchors aren't offended by the latch anchors. Before we dive right into the forward facing child seats, let's talk about instruction manuals. It's always important to read both the instruction manual for the vehicle and for the child seat because otherwise you might try and do what I'm doing right now and that's sit in the middle seat with this forward-facing child seat sitting right next to you. Lexus tells you specifically in the manual that this is not something that you should be doing in the Lexus GX460. This is not something that they say about every vehicle, but something about the seat belt dynamics in this particular vehicle, seat position, etc. They just don't want you to be sitting a person in the middle seat and having a child seat on the outboard side. Now having a child in the middle and a person on the outboard, that's not a problem. You can have one child seat in the middle, two people, one on either side, but this particular configuration of one child seat on that side and one person right here in the middle, that's not allowed. Now this is just the 60-40 side of the rear seats. You can put a child seat on the 40 side of the rear bench seat and then put an adult in the middle of this bench seat. That particular configuration is allowed. It's just this particular one we're looking at that's not allowed. This brings me to the allowed two seat child seat configuration in the back of the GX460. You may notice in the video that this center child seat is a little bit further forward and a little bit higher up than the outboard child seat. And that's just because of the shape of this rear bench seat. The middle seat does sit a little higher and a little further forward than the outboard seat. The GX460 has a relatively high seat back in the second row seat. That means that you don't have to remove the headrest on the outboard seat in order to get the top tether anchor to work, even this Graco Classic Ride 50 child seat, which is fairly large, you can easily pass the top tether anchor under the headrest, which is the way you're supposed to go. Also in the center position, we don't have to remove the center headrest either, which you do have to do in a number of vehicles. And that's just down to the shape of the headrest as well as the articulation of the seat back. Since it's fairly upright and the headrest doesn't really interfere with the child seat, you can get the child seat in the proper zone. That's the little ball in the green zone, that little trough on the child seat. It is totally possible to do in the middle child seat position without removing the headrest. And I find that a lot handier because otherwise you have to find somewhere to put that headrest. There is still a reasonable amount of room back here. Uh, the GX is a fairly wide SUV and I can still sit in this outboard seat and successfully strap myself in without a problem. This child seat isn't on top of my seatbelt buckle or anything along those lines. And this is relatively comfortable. I am sitting slightly off to the side of this seat back, but because this seat is fairly broad, my shoulders aren't touching this child seat and my shoulders aren't touching the door either. This brings me to the ever popular three across child seat configuration. There is still a reasonable amount of room back here in the GX460. This is a relatively wide SUV and uh, I still have about uh, two or three inches of room over here on that side of the child seat and the same over here on this other side of the child seat as well. 
child seats aren't touching the doors and they're not touching the windows or any of the armrests, etc., on the door handles. You may notice that the center child seat is at a slight angle, and that's just because of the way the seat bottom cushion is shaped in the GX460. It is a split 60 40 folding seat, and the 60 portion comes right about here. So the bottom foot on this child seat isn't exactly level on the seat. I consulted a local certified child seat inspector, and they didn't think this was really a problem in the vehicle, so do keep that in mind. Unlike some auto manufacturers, Lexus makes no prohibition about putting rearward facing or forward facing child seats in the third row of the GX. The thing you have to know is the third row in the GX is fairly tight and you can see in order to fit that rearward facing child seat, you do have to move the second row to its most upright and most forward location. Moving the second row seat to that position does result in a decent loss of leg room as you can see right here in the second row between the second row and the front row seat. Keep in mind that front row seat is all the way back in its track so you could do that for a short trip if you absolutely had to. Now because there's no prohibition about installing child seats in the third row of the GX in the all-important vehicle instruction manual, I decided to give it a try and they actually fit back here relatively well. That's because there's a decent amount of headroom in the GX460 so even I can fit in a back seat relatively comfortably. There's not a whole lot of leg room, so I wouldn't want to do it for too long, but there is a decent amount of headroom back here. The seat back angles are also fairly upright, so we don't have any problem with getting the forward facing child seats in the appropriate configuration. However, one thing to keep in mind is that there are no top tether anchors in this third row seat, so the seats are going to be a little bit more wobbly than they would be in the second row, and therefore a little bit less safe than the second row. It is important that seats have a minimum amount of movement, and without a top tether anchor, you can see how much further this outboard child seat really wiggles around in this third row because we don't have the top tether anchor for that child seat. So if you did have to do it, they will fit back here, but the best place for your children really is the second row using the latch anchors and the top tether anchors whenever possible. When it comes to cargo hauling, the GX460 is a very traditional SUV, which means we still have a separately opening rear hatch glass, which is very practical and very handy. It's a lot easier to throw things in the vehicle using just the glass rather than opening the whole back end of the vehicle. And I say the back end of the vehicle because this is not a tailgate. This is actually a door and some people refer to this as the five door Lexus. And that's because it opens sideways like a door. Now you may notice a problem with this. If you're a hatchback user, uh, you may notice that occasionally your hatchback is a little bit tricky in parallel parking situations. Well, it's nothing compared to a door. So you really have to get a decent distance between you and the car that's parallel parked behind you. It's about uh, four or five feet or so in order to open that door. However, if you're taller and you frequently find yourself hitting the top of tailgates, you may find this a great deal more convenient than a tailgate. Once you've opened that fifth door, you'll notice that the GX460 has what I refer to as emergency back seats because the distance between this seat back and the rear hatch is only about four inches or so. So you can fit very small bags, maybe purses, something like that right back here not a whole lot of luggage. So while the GX460 is perfectly capable of carrying seven people in relative comfort, five people in decent comfort, seven people in relative comfort, you definitely can't fit seven people's worth of luggage inside the GX460. So you'd have to tow a trailer or put a toolie on top, something like that, if you want to carry seven people and seven people's worth of luggage. The rear seats are of the power folding variety, so we just press these little buttons right here twice to make sure that there's no one sitting in the seat, and then these seats fold all the way flat. Once they're folded flat, we do have a very large cargo area in the GX460. And if you fold down the second row, you can see we have a positively enormous amount of cargo space. It's more than capable of accommodating three of these Grocco Classic Ride 50 child seats, as well as additional luggage inside the back right here. You can easily put these three in the back. Now with these three in the back, you'll notice one additional problem. We don't have a standard tonneau cover on the GX460. It is a $150 option, although it is included with a few option packages in the GX460. And I hear that some dealers are just throwing it in free anyway. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Again, this has been the 2014 Lexus GX460. Go ahead and click that subscribe banner at the bottom of your screen so you can be updated on all of my latest videos. There'll be the full review of the GX460 coming up in about a day or so. So be sure and click that subscribe button and you'll be notified when that one goes live. You can also email your questions to alex at alexandautos.com. You can find me at facebook.com slash alexandautos. Always comment on this video, share this video, like this video, tell me what you liked and didn't like about the video, and I'll see you next week. This isn't very comfortable. I have a feeling I'm over four and over 50 pounds.